हे गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू माय आर्ट चैनल टाटा डाटा आर्ट क्लब एंड द हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ स्केचिंग चैलेंज यस दिस इज विजय हियर एंड आई शेयर अ लॉट ऑफ ड्राइंग एंड स्केचिंग टिप्स ऑन दिस चैनल रेगुलरली सो यस दिस इज द फोर्टी सेकेंड फोर्टी सेकेंड डे ऑफ माय चैलेंज एंड टुडे आल्सो वी गोना डू द स्केचिंग ऑफ बर्ड बट देर इज अ डिफरेंट बर्ड टूडे सो लेट सी वॉट दैट बर्ड इज Hey guys good morning and warm welcome on my channel and today is the 42nd day of my challenge as i said earlier also and in today this uh, the bird what i choose is a falcon falcon is the a uh, bird is very fantastic bird and a lot of details we will be able to see and we i choose some of the uh, the flying pose which is the fantastic things so along with the sketching we going to learn the understand the basic forms of the uh, their body structures and plus uh, the some of the details so before we start again i will remind you if you are new for my channel please subscribe my channel and press notification bell icon so you will get all the updates about upcoming events and new videos so let's go to the board and see what reference we have and following with the reference we'll do today's sketching yes so this is the nice wonderful bird is there and that is also again in the position of flying position and it's quite nice angle is there and because of that i will be able to do a lot of nice study with this so yeah that is what it is we can start the sketching so i can see a nice curve in the body so if i am observing uh, the reference i can see that the on the right side there is a very less space and on the left side the the space or we required space because of the the open wings are there and for that way we should plan actually so yes so we can start from here this side so i can see this is something yeah if the curvature here body yeah something like this is there the head is there then there is another part of body and and again there is the body part in the back something like this and yes these are the wings it's quite long spread wings are there and from here i can see the wings angle here this side so i'm just now what i'm doing is marking and seeing that the my entire sketch is getting fit into the my space what i decided yes so almost it is there we can go for this proportions and i think we will be able to do the uh, nice sketching okay so the first part is there which is this round part and i can see the dimension with this is the head is again little tilted to that side and yes the beak is also very small and
this small dot is here and it is merging with this one here so it is little flatten kind of shape is here on the forehead i can say so i will see this way the structure the basic form i can say and after that this is a little bulge of came here just because of the uh, the bending it's little bend toward the uh, forward so that is what is there and yeah this way the body part is there so you can see a slight overlapping line here so that give the separation of this part and again if you come here so there is a white little space and then i am now drawing the black patch what i can see here and in that this is the dimension so that kind of the wire frame i can say it is here and from there the body starts so this curve again there is some curve like something like this so the entire body structure is something so this is the portion where the ending happen and now i'll just go to the wing so in the wing also these are the dimension of wings and here also this wing shape the if i show just the a uh, blocks so this is in the foreground something like this and these lines are going in the back so you can see the dimension of the folds of the actually wing so this direction why it's going here and here it is coming on this direction so that way you you should able to see a three dimensionality on the uh, reference or you have to actually search that and now here if i see the i'll compare this if i draw these lines so i can see the other wing here and it is starting from somewhere here so yes something like this is there and again there is a dimension to it and it is going here in the back something like 
this. So these are two different planes are there. So on this plane, all these lines which is going this way. And again here that's something like this. So that is the difference between the two wings as differentiate I can say it. And we'll come to the leg part. So leg part is starting from actually the second bulge here. And you can compare that this line is going toward the wings. And it has a nice muscles here I can see. So I can see this muscles and you can observe those textures or the stripes kind of texture is there that is again following uh, the same thing so that is the uh, muscle i can say that is quite long one and after that there is this fold and is this in this direction it is the legs are and this distance is very short from here it is actually the claw starting so in that also the middle finger which is the the longest one then one on this side and the other one is here and one can't see of the back side of this thing can't see in So this way it is the uh, bend in the leg. Similar way in this direction you can see the other leg on little distance and if I say it is starting from second curve so yeah I guess yes here so in the joint if I on this cross line if I see that it is in this direction and yes here you can see the the thumb kind of part is here and they are very nice sharp nails on the on the claw so that can hold very tightly the whatever things are there so very strong grip i can say they has and in here also you can see the dimension of this now i'm just comparing just the, like from the uh, wing to head part is this much and comparatively 
this portion is more so i can take a just little more liberty and spread the wing and make little bigger and plus here this the body part a little body part i can see here and in this also they can see the dimension of the wing so this is here the top portion little bit you can see it and from there it is spreading and this way all this is feathers are connected to here in the center part or the part of the body So exactly below the leg you can see the little gap Here also I can see this is the longest or the last feather is here. And if you can observe these the the lines or the structure is moving in this curvature form only. So whatever their lines are there on their body, the texture stripes can see it is moving in this direction and now we'll come to the this wing part so yes there is slight curve and joint here after this it is turning here And in this direction all lines here is the one of the feather and then here I am starting second one so all this the previous lines what you drawn that is only gonna help and here also I can see that this is curvature where till the point the the separation of the feathers you can see after that it is merged over here You can see little joint here so this is the separation and yes in this wing almost uh, there is not much detail you can see here but yes just the some of the small small feathers separation if you want you can show it here now we'll come to the uh, the main here is the eye part so eye part is very interesting this is the eye socket I can see here and eyeball and just 
just simply a dot So this is the uh, part again that is something little bulge on that yes so that is the Thing now if I'm observing those things still I felt that the wing it has to be a more bigger comparatively to the head part Okay, I can see this negative space here plus this patch so yes we can make a little bigger here Yes, I guess this is better and I'll just make a more darker line some of the part and details. Yes, this way is the beak is actually and it is going like turn like small kind of smile I can say and there is a black dot here. So till the here it is a yellow or light shade then there is little highlight and then darker similar with the dark portion down here. Again this is the light portion is like forehead thing and in that only the darker portion here. And these are the wings.
so yes in this direction the wings are The nice identity of this bird is the the texture or the stripes what I can see in the uh, wings or the on the entire body can I can say it. So just simply following with the So if you follow these lines and you can see the texture, you can see the difference between now, it's looking more nicer. And here also it is following the same curvature. So this bulge is very important because of that it the it gave the feeling of bending. So in this also this is the area is shaded yes so these are the lines what we followed For sketch this is the directions so yes, very nicely we captured these things and you can check all this wherever there is a positive and negative space that also you can compare and see if your drawing is come out perfectly so yes guys that was the sketch for today and we draw on the falcon very nicely here and I definitely enjoyed the sketch but if I don't know you enjoyed or not 
so please add it in the comment box and let me know how much you like this sketching and ongoing processes if you have any suggestions or doubts you can ask that also in the my comment section and one more reminder if you are still not subscribed my channel please subscribe the channels and press notification bell icon so you will get all the updates about upcoming events and videos so guys see you tomorrow with uh, more fun till the time you guys also can uh, practice 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 and do sketching and please keep smiling also